Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this class, we are going to discuss about computer language. So what is a computer language? A computer language is nothing but language that we are going to use to communicate with the computer. So how we can give the instruction to the computer? By using some languages. We have three types of languages. One is machine language. Second one is symbolic language and third one is high level language by using these any language you are going to give the instructions to the computer the first one machine language so machine language is nothing but is it consists of zeros and ones why because in olden days computer they are using transistors so on different switches so these have only two states one is on or off so those we are called as a zeros and ones so on means one off means zero so now the second one is symbolic language so why we need the symbolic language means the system knows machine language but it is very much difficult to learn why let us take one example so this is the machine language instructions to add two numbers here the number is a equals to 83 and b equals to minus 2. I want to add these two numbers. That is a program. Now, if you chose the machine language to write this program, so these are the instructions you are going to write. If you observe that this is the program to add two numbers. Okay, so now symbolic language is nothing but you are going to use some mnemonics and symbols to write a program now so this is the a equals to 83 b equals to minus 2 so if you observe that when comparing to this program so this is the symbolic program you understand something when comparing to machine language instruction here so org so org means organate so organate is nothing but the program starts at 100 lda means load add means add STA means store, HLT means halt, DEC means decimal, DEC means decimal, end means end. Okay, that means end of the program. At least when comparing to machine language, in symbolic language, you are going to understand what are the operations you are going to perform. The same program. Okay, so what is the symbolic language? The symbolic language is a consists of mnemonics and symbols. To write a program. What is the advantage? When comparing to machine language, the symbolic languages are easy to understand and easy to write. Now, there is one disadvantage. What is the disadvantage? The system knows only machine language. This is a very important point. The system knows only machine language. Only machine language. That means whatever language you are going to use to give the instruction that must be converted into the machine language okay so if you are using the symbolic language now you are going to give the instructions in symbolic language means some mnemonics you are going to use so it is our responsibility to change these instructions into machine level machine language instructions so we need one translator translator so what is the translator? If I know Telugu, if somebody have know the uh, Tamil, how I give the instructions to that person? I need a mediator. That mediator we are called as a translator. Here I give the instructions in Telugu. This translator know Telugu and Tamil. So this translator can translate the instructions in Tamil. And similarly, the system knows only machine language. Now, in symbolic language, we are going to give the instructions in symbolic language. Now, this translator can convert the symbolic instructions into machine instructions. This translator we are called as a assembler. What is the assembler? What is the purpose of the assembler? The purpose of the assembler is to convert the symbolic language instructions into machine level language instructions. And we call this symbolic language as a assembly language also what is the purpose of the assembler the assembler can convert 
the assembly language instructions into machine level language instructions that means this program of translate by this assembler it converts like this when you see the symbolic language this is also very difficult to learn so to improve the programming efficiency the high level languages are introduced so when comparing to symbolic languages the high level languages are very easy here the program is addition of two numbers a equals to 83 b equals to minus 2 now so this is the machine language we don't understand even uh, one part in that program but coming to assembly language so much we are going to understand but if you see this code you can understand very well so a b c a equals to 83 b equals to minus 2 c equals to a plus b that means when comparing to all these languages as a human we are going to willing to learn these high level languages in this high level languages so c language is a very efficient language to write the programs to instruct the computer so in this series of lectures we are going to learn about this c language